we have a very special guest who's, who did so much to make growing up in the 70s as I did as fun as it was. And my personal favorite of his, the Jeffersons, Oh, God. Because it was always fun as a kid in the 70s to see a black man in his own home slamming the door on white people. <laughs> Couldn't get enough of that. Please welcome Norman Lear. We got to see ourselves in, in good times, and, and everybody didn't grow up, you know, obviously every person of color didn't grow up poor, but these characters were real to us. Like, when we would go to go to school the next day, we talking about what happened on the show. And being from Chicago, every time people would come to Chicago, they wanted to see the Good Times Project. Yeah. Which is Cabrini yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they didn't want to stay long, but no, they no, wanted they to see it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I remember when I first signed my deal, my first recording contract, went to the bank, got my, my checkbook. I immediately went home and put it on the desk because that's what George did. And, it, it, you know, so George Jefferson taught me about managing finances. <laughs> <laughs> but like, good times was bigger than happy days at times. And like, the Fonz was losing to JJ. Like, he sold, like, how about this? JJ sold more lunch boxes than the Fonz, man. <laughs> and like, because, the, because J.J. had dynamite, that made the Fonz go, hey. And they kept dialing up the boy, he kept going, hey, to compete with the dynamite. Like, this was a real thing that was going on. Like, this was beef. This was, <laughs> this was like beef. Like, Norman Lear created beef, too. 